Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will discuss the sync function. Here we will see two types of sync functions, normalized sync function and unnormalized sync function. We will define what we mean by normalized and unnormalized sync function and we'll see the graph of both of these types of sync functions. We will also discuss the properties of sync function and we'll observe the graph. The basic observations will be included in this video lecture. So without wasting time, let's start. As you can see here that sync function is also known as the sampling function or the interpolating function. The full form of sync function is cardinal sine function. Okay. So it is sine cardinal. Okay. S I N for sine, S I N E and C is for cardinal. It is of two types as I told you normalized and unnormalized. The graph that uh, we have seen in the beginning of the video was of unnormalized sync function. It is denoted as sin x divided by x. Okay. While the normalized sync function is denoted as sine of pi x divided by pi x. This is the difference. We replace x by pi. Okay. I will uh, tell you now the graph of uh, unnormalized sync function okay sin x by x actually this uh, unnormalized sync function is used in mathematics it is a historical the uh, general format of uh, that is used in uh, mathematics while this sine of pi x by pi x that is the normalized sync function is generally used in digital signal processing and information theory so let's now analyze the graph of uh, unnormalized sync function sin x by x okay so this is the graph of sync function and it is denoted as sin x divided by x. Let's observe various things about uh, this function. You can see that uh, it has roots at uh, pi 2 pi 3 pi in the positive side and so on. And on the negative side at minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi. Okay. Uh, while the value at 0 is 1. Okay, so it has roots at uh, plus minus n pi. Let's observe various other things about this sync function. As we have now seen that sync function S I N C sync of x. Okay, it is denoted as sin x divided by x. So it is an even function of x. Why it is even function? Because we know that in an even function, it is symmetrical. An even function is symmetrical about the y axis. Okay. The shape of this curve is identical on both sides of this y axis. That's why it is. Therefore, it is a, an even function. Now, the third property. Sync x is 0 for x equals to plus minus n pi. That is, it is 0 at plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi. We have seen it that uh, as it is denoted as a sin x divided by x and we know that uh, if the sin c, uh, the sync x will be zero when the, this numerator sin x is zero. And we know that uh, the sin x is zero at the values of n pi. Therefore, it is zero at n pi. We have seen it also in the graph that uh, sync function is zero at the places where sin x is zero. So at n pi values, plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi it is a 0 okay but what if we take the value at 0 so it becomes sin x by x becomes if i place value x equal to 0 then it will be sin x by x will be sin 0 by 0 so at the uh, place of uh, x equal to 0 its value is 1 why it is so let's see it since uh, if i place the value 0 then what will happen on placing value 0 it is it is denoted as sin c x at the place of x i have written 0 it is 1 because sin c x sin uh, sync x is denoted as sin x by x and at 0 it becomes sin 0 by 0 form and we know that sin 0 by 0 is the indeterminate form do you remember the l hospital's law uh, l hospital's rule where we used to, to differentiate the uh, numerator and denominator to if, if in case of uh, it is an indeterminate form like uh, 0 by 0 form so it is a sin 0 by 0 means sin 0 is 0 so it is a 0 by 0 indeterminate form so we will use the 
L hospital's rule. Since it is limit x tending to 0, sin x by x, so it is sin 0 by 0. Okay, we can uh, denote it as limit x tending to 0. Now I will use the L hospital's rules, rule to find its value at x equal to 0. So according to this rule, we differentiate both numerator and denominator with respect to this x. So its differentiation is sin x differentiation is cos x and x differentiation with respect to x is 1. So it becomes cos 0. Cos 0 means 1 divided by 1. So 1 by 1 is 1. So value of uh, the sink function at 0 comes out to be equal to 1. Okay. So in this way we can find it that its value is at, at 0 its value is 1. Now the fifth property. See that the sink function is uh, denoted as sin x by x. So it can be written as sin x multiplied by 1 upon x. Okay. We can separate it sin x multi uh, multiplied by 1 upon x. Okay. Now observe that uh, this is a multiplication of two types of signals, two types of uh, waveforms. First is the sin x waveform. Okay. And another is the 1 by x. Uh, since uh, this uh, sin x is what? Sin x is in oscillating it gives the property of oscillations with period 2 pi okay we know the sin x uh, graph and 1 upon x is a uh, decreasing function which uh, allows its values which causes a continuous decrease in the amplitude of the sync function you see it is having oscillations because of this uh, sin x value and uh, and these oscillations are continuously decreasing okay it tends to zero when we uh, tend to infinity when the value of x tends to infinity on both sides it becomes its value becomes zero so it has a decreasing uh, nature the amplitude is constantly decreasing oscillations are continuously uh, decreasing tending to zero at infinity because it is the multiplication of both of these graphs of uh, 1 upon x and sin x we know this is the graph of sin x having period of 2 pi c this is the period of sin x and uh, it is oscillating while the curve of 1 upon x is a decreasing curve on both x and y uh, both uh, in both sides in a positive and a negative side so it is continuously decreasing so as the value of x increases it its value decreases on this side and also on this side in the negative side also its value decreases on increasing value of x so the graph obtained by the multiplication of both of these uh, graphs is, contains the property of both of these graphs okay so this was all about the sync function i hope you liked the information and if you have any doubt you can write your doubts in the comments of this video section if you want me to make videos on another topics you can also write it in your comments i will try to make videos on that top on those topics and if you liked the video please click on the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also get benefited and do not forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos see you guys in the next video with more such videos till then bye bye take care
friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye